And hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Dyson Sphere Program. I am of course Zeofate and well, I'm going to be honest. I recorded an entire, probably about an hour and a half long episode because I just got into it. Well, mostly just doing basic stuff and chatting and I was going to go edit it to just skip over some boring parts and well, I'd forgotten to turn on my mic. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's gone. Uh, what it is, is right now, we are in a new system. I think we initially tried to set stuff up on that system down there. But now, well, we're in a new one. And that's our home system that's uh, got our Dyson Sphere going on it. Now, realistically, if I wanted to, I really could turn around and set up another Dyson Sphere here. Which, actually, now that I think about it, that might actually be a good idea. Yep. Yeah. anyways, what I've been doing here is I've been going through and just tapping all the resource nodes. I've got uh, the ones that everything's going into is just set to local supply. And I got what they're going to over sitting over here. And these are set to uh, local demand and remote supply. Now the interesting thing is, is not only did I find silicone veins here, but I also found fractal silicone. Now these, if you cook, turn into two of the previous silicone. So if you happen to find some, it's a good way of getting some of those set up. So having said that, uh, I think I'll set some stuff up. Let's uh, get shifting around and we'll go from there. First things first is we're going to have to come down here because I think I'm actually going to start try going towards end game. Now, I'm going to use that section there. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to need to run some power. Now, I you probably spotted it as we were flying by, but uh, I do have a power band built across the in, pretty much the entirety of this planet. And I did that so that uh, I'd have more than enough power to power all everything. And that actually didn't take that long to build. That being said, of course, you missed it, so I can't. Didn't sh you don't know the quick way of doing it? So I think I'll just give you a quick little demonstration on how to do it the quick way. Now let's just grab. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll just grab eighty or so of those. Now, when I'm making this power band, before I was just going place, 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 and trying to do a pattern, and it just took forever. But now, first of all, you just place the first one, and then from there, you can turn around and go, well, I want to go that wide, so now places. You then hover over it, and you can just... Draw it out. How quick is that? That's a trick I wish I knew right at the beginning. Because that would have saved so much time. So. Over here. We're going to start going with. Well. 
let's see here. I'm going to need a bunch of you. Probably a lot, going to get a lot more than I need. Let's get that set up. Get our ships in there and our drones in there. So hopefully I'll send those so that, uh, well, I can get those. Uh, I'm also going to need a lot of this. Let's go 2K-ish. Now I'm going to set that to local demand simply because, well, I've got them sent to over at the other location. And from there, uh, no, you don't need warpers. So let's collect you. And let's actually see about cleaning up some of this mess. Uh, I can shift you into there. Let's get this laid down. I'm going to hide all the veins. I can come back to them if I really feel the need to. Actually, come to think of it, I am going to need warpers. Since I've already got warpers being sent to this planet on the other side, I'm just going to go remote demand. Now, I'm going to do this versus put uh, conveyors everywhere to build up that material, simply so I don't have to worry about it. Oh, goody, I got those. That should be more than enough of everything. So let's get uh, the concrete finished. Then we can get this stuff laid out. Well, I need a little bit more concrete. You know, every time I see the concrete, the way it's set up and everything else, I, guess I keep wanting to make Death Star references. Oh, you don't have any. Huh. Well, remote demand it is. So while that's doing that, let's uh, start getting these laid out. Because you'll notice like if we're pulling power in from these, like they're at power generation right now, which they'll pull power from the Dyson Sphere, which I'm going to have to get start getting set up. They don't really need anything, but they've still got the ability to kick everything out. Which, speaking of Dyson Sphere, I should probably start getting that set up. So, to that end... Let's get uh, mm, let's go here. You're gonna get your long range. You're gonna get the drones, even though you're probably not gonna need them either. You're gonna grab those and those. That's gonna be local storage and remote demand. No, I'll have to go back and set that differently if I want to actually do it. Because I don't, didn't set these to be able to go out elsewhere. So I guess we're heading back to the other planet because there's no point in setting this up, up here, out here. Because I'd have to completely build a new Dyson Sphere. Yeah, I can leave that. So to that end, uh, let's 
zoom out here and figure out where the other system is. It's interesting and actually kind of like nice little quality of life, I want to say. By the fact that they turned around and the planets are named after you've gone to them. Now, once you're a little distance out, you got to hit caps lock and you engage warp. And try to keep yourself aimed properly because it's a long trip. And you hit caps lock again to get out of it. Now you guys are, you've already set up. I don't think I actually have anything set up on my Earth-like planet. So let's uh, boost our speed up. We will set that planet as our target, just so that it's easier for us to track. And we're going to start setting up for not only the last, very last research, but, uh, well, actually, no, yeah, just pretty much the very last research. And then after that, if uh, you guys want, leave comments for this, we can go exploring the solar systems. Just do a quick stop in each system, see what's what, if anything's of interest, and go from there. But it'll be entirely up to you guys. But uh, once we got the end game research done, yeah, I think we're pretty much done. Well, of course, I could just simply start a brand new game, go about and try to hit certain production goals. Might be an interesting way to do it. Yeah. Let me know what you think. So since it evidently slowed the hell down, even though I'd gone said go no go fast. And we're going to crash into the planet. Ah! Anybody else get vertigo from that? Okay. So this is the surface. Good. Huh. Bunch of oil hadn't capped. Meh. Okay, first of all, let's get uh, this set up. I'm going to want concrete just so I can easily see what I'm doing. That's going to be remote demand. We're also going to turn around and we are going to want some of you. Let's go. Got them in my inventory. But still. Local demand that, or remote demand them. Let's get you in there and some drones. And that you're going to need power. That's going to get that up and running. Let's uh, grab a pile of them.
should be good. So let's go to our Dyson Sphere. We're going to get that. We'll put that one right there. And let's see here. Let's get you there. And right now, as I said, it's just feeding all that power into the grid. Which would be great and all, if that's what we wanted. But it's not. First, let's get uh, this stuff laid out. Let's get it set up like that. This makes building so much easier being able to do this. At least for large constructs. Well, it looks like these inner rings are going to have to be uh, manually positioned. Don't know why in some instances it'll let, it'll let that do it, but in others it just... Nope. Still can do. out of position. Okay. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you over to photon generation mode. I'm going to copy that. Okay, that's it's done. Now 
And that's actually a bit loud. Why is he working on some but not others? You know, this should be interesting because I think this uh, cap is entirely in sunlight, which means this is going to operate for pretty much non-stop. Because even in photon mode, it's uh, once the receiver's out of the sun, that's it. So now, let me re-get my bearings. Now let's start weaving in our, let's get that there. Now let's see, you're slowly working on making a photon. Yeah, my generating capacity right now is one gigawatt. That's roughly third completed for one gigawatt. So I total I should probably get about three gigawatts from this setup. And there we have our photons. Now, what are photons used for? Well, they're what's needed to make the white research. You need one of each of the different researches and an antimatter. An antimatter, you need two hydrogen and, well, well, you break two photons and you get two hydrogen and two antimatter. So first, I need to find the photons, which is right there. You are going to be you know what, I think I'll run on this planet, so you're just going to be a remote local supply. Let's get you hooked in. Now, photons are not made, they're not made fast. As no doubt you have probably figured out by now. So let's do this a little bit differently. I'm going to go reach into there, over to there, get that set up. No, you're already hooked up. Okay. Okay. 
Now, I'm not worried about uh, hooking this much up to one single conveyor, mainly because these things aren't fast. Okay, so that's second lane in there. Let's see about how we can get in here. If I had been thinking, I would have probably set this up better. Especially since I did it wrong. So let's go from there to there. No, come on. Want to go to there, to there, to there. Thank you. So you can hook like that. And then we'll start getting you all hooked in. You know, if I'd been thinking, I would have laid out the paths first, but uh, I wasn't thinking. And actually, this looks to be a good spot that I could break in to there. So we'll set that up at least. And there be the other end. I guess I'm going to have some of those that are just going to oddly line up. Just as long as they don't cause too many issues. Now, of course, this will get better over time, but you can see I'm getting a, a slow but steady stream and some have actually started shutting off. And that's because they're no longer in the sun. As such, they no longer have a link to the Dyson Sphere. Hopefully the entire pull doesn't go, but uh, if it happens, it happens. So, let's... Uh, no. Yes, actually. 
Let's get uh, you linked. No, I want you to come out. Come on. Let go. There we go. Don't need to see that. Might as well get that one linked in. Now, one of the things I do know about these is you can't you can't go from like here to here and then to there to there type deal. They don't have their own internal inventory, so they won't let stuff pass through. So keep that in mind when you're doing your design. That should be all of them linked in. And as you can see, well, this one is no longer functioning. This one's slowly powering down. Where one's further over, they're still going up in the amount of power. So the longer they're in sun, the better. So that turns around and that's making us eh, some photons. So for us to process the photons, well, we're going to head back to our other planet. To that end, let's get that set. And we go. Urch, that was the wrong planet that I was going to go to. I need the manufacturing one. Okay. Okay, so let's get ourselves. Uh, we'll get one of you set up here. You are going to need matrix labs. And we'll set you to, I'm not going to need 100, but might as well. Once those get in, I've got everything else I need. So I should probably turn around and start pulling in the researchers. You are going to be local demand. Purple research is what's giving me a problem. Hmm. I honestly thought it would have been green because I'm using some of that for other things. So we got those, so that will go for blue research again, local demand. We're not going to supply any of that. So now we are going to get our matrix labs, and I'm just going to do let's go 10. And unlike the rest of these researches, I'm going to have mm, 
Let's get five of them set up. So you are going to be making those. So let's get uh, these start coming out. Blue, red, yellow, and we will get purple coming over to here, and green coming over to here. That should get everything running. Now I'm going to get, uh, you know what, let's move these a little bit closer. And that's going to get five. I don't really care if they're all running at four or not. And you are going to research. And I think I only need you being the one going in. So while we're over here, let's uh, take a look what the issue with purple is. Our issue is the circuits, the processors. So let's. Uh, First of all, make sure you're actually set to receive them, yes. So let's go take a look at what these, the problem with the processors is. Uh, let's see. There, there you are. So you are not getting circuits. Let's uh, shut that off. So I need more circuits. Is there a problem over here? No, you're pretty much running full tilt. Ah, you can't keep up with the iron. Oh, the irony. Yeah, no, horrible joke. You're pumping out as fast as it's getting. I suppose with constructing the Dyson Sphere, that's the what the issue is. I don't know. But still, there's... Uh, uh, that's the wrong way. You're not getting any of what you need. So why not? Oh, all the frame is complete. So now it's just waiting for solar panels. Well, we can't have that. So let's add a new orbit. That way. Let's uh, change the inclination. 
I just want it flat. And let's see. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much there. Uh, I think that looks good. Yeah. So we're going to create that. We're going to go to layer three. And we are going to stop running. I had thought about turning around and doing multiple large bands, but I uh, really didn't want to do that. So I'm just going to do these two bands. Like really, if I wanted to, I could just turn around and collapse the entire thing into a sphere. Well, it's called the Dyson Sphere, of course. Actually, you know what? Uh, is there any way to just delete a layer? Evidently not. At least I don't go around editing any other layers. Well, I guess I can. So, yeah, watch out for that when you're doing it yourself. Let's go to layer two. And I think what I'm going to do, uh, let's go one there, one there, one there, one there. I think that looks good. Let's go over to the opposite side. And we'll do the same. Now we'll link these together. And I wonder, can I just, no, it won't allow it. too much space. Okay, that's good to know. So let's get this linked in. And leave 
good at that. So you can start working, which means you guys should start launching. And it might just turn around and replicate that on both sides. I haven't decided yet. But I need a lot more solar sails before anything else can get done. Synchronized launching! Okay. Since I got distracted, let's get uh, back to what we were doing. My goal for this episode is to get at least one of the white research built, or at least fully set up to be built. Okay, now let's see. Where are you? Uh, that's the rail guns. That's not what I want. That's something else again. Probably not what I want. That's miniature particle collider. I think that actually is what I want. But I only want one. So let's get back here. To our research. And we are going to co-op over here. So we are going to co-op and we are going to grab our pylons here. We're going to remote demand. I set those to remote, didn't I? Hmm. Might not quite have enough for them just yet. So let's get that particle collider. We're going to turn you right there. I'm going to set you to hydrogen because you're going to be one of the byproducts. And you're going to be on local and remote supply. So for here, uh, that there. Oh, right, you won't. Uh, let's hit you to there, to there. You're going to be the hydrogen. You're going to be the antimatter. And you're going to be the protons. Now, why are you doing that? I don't want to go... Oh, that's because you're not lining up properly. You're being annoying. You'll work for the one, but you won't work for the other two. Well, fine then. There we go. You're going to need power, of course. And, of course, the one little dead zone. That's where that got set. Yep, of course. So that should be good set up there. Now we need to go and uh, fix our system. No, I don't want to go. I want to go there. And I think I need to go down this direction. More towards the bottom. Okay, maybe more towards the top.
and this this could be a problem because the entire pole is in darkness which does not help so you are going to be remote demand and I'll let you go out at 20% uh, capacity now you're going to be remote, remote supply so yeah that might be a problem I guess I yeah hmm I'm betting it wouldn't matter which end of the world I did it on it still caused me issues oh We got all the hydrogen, there's more launches going. They did a really good job on the visuals of this game. So. I think I'm gonna cancel this last research. Because really, I, it's just for the little cap, and I really don't care about that, so. This is pretty much, uh, yeah, let's cancel that. That's the only one that uses any of the other researches. There's our end game. Everything else is researched. Of course, we go into the upgrades, and there's a lot more we can do, but it's all repeat. That's all it is. So, from that end, I'm not quite sure if anybody wants how anybody wants to deal with it or even watch it. But uh, let's get back over here. You don't have anything in you. All right. I need to set you to let those out. It's going to shove up the hydrogen. It's going to send the antimatter in here. So as soon as I get a bunch of purple research, we should be rocking. And you're set to power generation. Okay. So I think this is where we'll leave off. We are going to start. Actually, I think I'm just going to let stuff build up and get a bunch produced. Yeah, actually, that sound, does sound better to me. Uh, no room there. Let's get uh, some of you. Why aren't you shipping? Did I make the wrong one by accident? Hmm. 
Well, uh, there's an easier way of dealing with it. Just get one of those, chuck it there. Set you up. You will store our white research. And there we go. And from here, we'll pick up next episode. So till then, this is Zeofate signing out.